it was such a long flight. It was nine hours. I was so uncomfortable the entire time. I don't think Dan slept an inch. I think he was just tossing and turning. He looks like a walking corpse. I just went into the bathroom, chucked on some makeup, brushed my hair, brushed my teeth, which I really needed. And now we're just going to go through the custom section. Where our accommodation, we can't actually check in until three o'clock. Um, but we can drop our bags off and then go back in and just explore Shinjuku, Shinjuku for a little bit um, until they open up our accommodation at three and allow us in. So I don't know what we're going to do all day, but we're probably going to be very, very tired. <laughs> I head out um, I'm gonna do a little apartment tour <laughs> so this is actually a guest house we're staying in and it's an Airbnb and we're in Shin Osaka I'm pretty sure let me just double check that okay so I was completely wrong so there's Shinjuku we're actually one stop up at Shin Ukubu pretty sure that's how you pronounce it um, so it's right on the JR lines and it's very close to a lot of things and I want to go explore today so I'll take you guys along. We might also be going to Harajuku as well but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so this is the front of our guest house. So if you walk up here, we've got like a little reception area. And then if you come down here, we've got the bathroom, the showers, the shower rooms, there's just toilets down here with the funny Japanese toilets and then some more rooms down the end here. If you come this side, we've got our room. So we're room E. So as you can see, it's that little traditional space where you take off your shoes before walking into the room. And then it's quite teeny tiny, so if I close the door, we've got the wardrobe here. Some hangers for all our jackets and I've just put towels in our backpacks. We've got this tiny table here with his adorable little seat. And then Dan's just sleeping because he needs to catch up on his sleep. Then we've got me. Hello. And then we've just put the heater on because it's freezing outside. And then this is our beautiful view. <laughs> and when I say beautiful, I mean a good new view. You can see the street just there. Also, I don't know if you guys watched my other videos, so I went to Japan a couple of years back and I filmed um, majority of my time over there and I used this book while I was over there. And it's basically just a little tour guide of Tokyo. Um, the best thing about it is it's got lots of like craft stores, coffee shops um, and stationery stores in it, which I love. And if we just oops, flip to... Not that page. It should be this page here. Um, this one here. Let me just get a close up for you. So this is the place I really want to find today. So if I find this shop, I'll be a very happy traveller. It's closed Mondays. <laughs> Damn it. So it opens 11 a.m. Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Um, so I guess I'm not going to Harajuku today because I really, really want to go. So we can save that trip for tomorrow. So I guess we'll be going to Shibuya instead. <laughs> so this is our street that we're on.
Um, we actually went to a Japanese pancake place last night. Okonomiyaki, I think it's called. Basically, um, we got to make our own on a hot plate. Um, and then after that, we just came back and then crashed out cold. <laughs> Today we're going to be going to a beautiful um, park over in Shinjuku and then we're going to be heading over to a brewery for lunch and then we're going to end our trip today at Harajuku and walk down the famous lane. So um, come along with me. I also have a few stationary stops in mind that I want to go to so I'll definitely feel those, um, feel, film those for you guys. <laughs> we're at the 7-Eleven for breakfast. There's Dan over there getting his And we've got... So we found the park, but as you can see it's all gated up around the entire park so we're going to have to go find the entrance which it says it's a six minute walk. I didn't get a big enough one. Wait, let me get some lots of ink in here. Ready? <laughs> I was just building it. Oh, that's cool. Half froyo. Half shoes. What the? So I just went to the paper lab bow, I think it's pronounced, um, in Harajuku and it's a, a designer stationery store store. The products inside are so beautiful but I couldn't buy anything today. <laughs> There's really cool stores at the back streets of Harajuku once you get past the main strip. And look, there's a random avocado. So we walked 22,000 steps today. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, tomorrow we're going to be going, or I'm going to be going stationary shopping. Um, Dan's going to be doing his own thing because every time we've gone to the shops he's just stood outside. So I don't want to make him wait around tomorrow, but hopefully I'll be getting my first traveler's notebook from the traveler's factory. And I also want to go to a store that was recommended to me on my Instagram so apparently there's a store that creates notebooks so I wouldn't mind going there as well and checking it out so I'll be going to those two places tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'll be doing in the afternoon but just probably walk around exploring more of Tokyo. Thanks for following me around on my vlog today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!